No. No, because we came to you like they said. You said, "Hey, we need you to hold because we got to go do traffic or something like that." Yeah, like, yeah it was great. Oh, uh, you know why? Because when you do like a press junket, when you have like thirty stations to do, you get up at three thirty in the morning in the West Coast. Mm-hmm. Everyone's gridded out. And everyone's formatted like, okay, from 7.15 to 7.20, you get them. And then we pass them off to Albany. And mm-hmm, then, mm-hmm. then 10P. And, you know, so the fact that we were exactly on time and they're like, yeah, we're going to just uh, tell people that the Verrazano narrow, narrow Bridge is crowded. <laughs> we'll get back to you after, you know, we have somebody in a fake helicopter. <laughs> like, wait, you mean to tell me those aren't real copters? I don't know. But the weather guy, no matter what town you're in, the weather guy always has a name like a gay porn star. <laughs> like here, it's Corey. Yeah. <laughs> Corey! Chopper Bill. Uh, Chopper, Chopper Bill. Bill. In LA, it's Dallas Reigns. Oh, uh, oh my listen God. to this porn. Listen to this porn cast. Coming up next in a very special glory hole, Mr. G, <laughs> Johnny Mountain, <laughs> Sam Champion. And <laughs> I uh, I have a problem paying attention to the weather. Maybe it's in maybe that's how they test for ADD. But I've never been able to pay attention through a whole weather cast because I don't think they should be that complicated. Yeah, yeah. If you have a window in your house, you no. really don't need a weather person. You at see all. wind blowing. You should put on a jacket. Right now, there's a weather person in the other room going, guys, what the heck? Excuse me. Hello? Okay, look. Jay Moore in the studio performing at Stand Up Live at 4... Well, I don't know the number. Yeah, 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 sorry. I I don't need your bio. I know everything about you. (laughs) 480-719-6100. He's performing at Stand Up Live. StandUpLive.com is the website. Look, I don't need no bio about you, dude. Tonight at 8 o'clock. I'm going to do a meet and greet tonight. Uh, if you want to come Thursday, that's because there's no second show tonight, so I can really like hang and take pictures and stuff in the lobby. Let's kiss your butt for just a second, if we may. Please. Probably one of the most tense in real, I believe, scenes is you as Bob Sugar with Tom Cruise. That's my first movie I ever did. Pretty awesome, too. That scene Thank you kind of bites it because Hi. who do you really feel bad for? I feel bad for you. You had to fire somebody and take them out in public. You know what it was like for me? <laughs> no one no else going to have to fire my mentor for a week? Oh, I mean, dude, can you, you get past it. yourself for Sugar a second? Loves Jesus. It. it ain't show business. It ain't show friends. It's show business. That's I'm my job. To remember the names of skanks that you bang on the road. That's what I'm here for. Oh uh, yeah, that was my first movie, man. And awesome. Tom Cruise was awesome. How great is Cameron Crowe to, Cameron to Coe, find you? I like more than Cameron Crowe. Cameron Crowe is a Jewish find you. old baseball player, Cameron Crowe. Yeah, he's real good, too. That guy. How great is he to find you? and know that you're right for that particular role. Well, you know, Rich, if you listen to my podcast, More Stories, the number f- one podcast in America, whatever, you didn't get to it. It's free. Why well, would you, no, why I didn't check it out. Podcast, a Moore podcast. Number one podcast. It's awesome. But I do, I talk about my whole audition process for that, and I auditioned to play the football player first, Kush. Really? And I blew it. I had to do a southern accent, and my mother and grandmother are all from West Texas. My grandmother was Miss Texas, and I'm in there like... I sounded like I was in Mama's Family or like a Carol Burnett sketch. Like, well, how are we all doing in here tonight? And I was like, what am I doing? You're like, wait a second. No, There's going to be some football playing. Oh, Texas, man. I, I hope I get drafted. Uh, you, know, <laughs> you mean you went to, that that's hard? the role that went to Jerry O'Connell? Yeah. And then, uh, who's not known for his accents. Which is very right. That's <laughs> so random. Then they brought me back for to play the nanny, which is a very small part, but a cool part. I don't know if you remember when... He hands Tom Cruise, he goes, I know what's going to happen, and I think you should use this. And you think he's going to give Tom Cruise a condom, mm-hmm. but he hands him a cassette tape. Cassette tape, wow. Yeah, wow. wow. So he just dated ago. Jerry Maguire. Back a cassette tape of John Coltrane and Miles Davis. He's like, pl- basically play this while you're making love to Renee Zellweger. Uh, and I auditioned for that. And I did a good job on that. And Cameron Crowe pulled me aside because I went, I auditioned twice for that because the second time was for the producers, Jim Brooks and Richard Sakai. And he said, this speech about this tape is the easiest thing in the movie for me to cut. And when you say it, I can't cut it. It's too good. So just do exactly what you're doing. The worst thing you could tell a comic or an actor is just what you're doing, keep doing it, man. It's <laughs> great. Because then we will automatically start like, what am I? It's like telling, uh, a, it's like telling yeah. a golfer, like, your grip is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> then it's, it's all over. Uh, uh, so I blew that. And then Jim Brooks said, hey, what about sugar? And the hair on my neck went off because I, having read the script, knew that was like the guy. that's a key role. That's the uh, role. So I asked if I could have more time to prepare. They gave me a week, and I didn't. I had long like pro wrestler hair. I looked like Bret Hart. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't own a suit. I was doing the Jeff Foxworthy show. I was playing Wayne Foxworthy. Oh wow! I was a mess. B- by the way, Wayne Foxworthy 
the entire time I'm doing Vane Foxworthy. You get a southern I'm, accent. I'm doing a southern accent, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> like, Kyle, I'm doing the best I can here. I know you're holding a puppy dog, but we got some work to do here. And all of a sudden, I go into the audition. I'm like, well, come on now. Go, go, get, come on. We're going to go get them. <laughs> like, like you were doing it just fine before you get in there, and all of a sudden, it's I like just freaked curtains out. for you. And then I auditioned for Sugar, and uh, they brought me back on a Sunday to screen test with Tom Cruise. I didn't know you had Texas roots in you. I thought you were straight up like New York guy. New Jersey. My grandmother was Miss Cisco. Huh. And she was Miss Permian Basin, Miss Odessa, then Miss Texas. How do you get to be a Miss Permian Basin? That sounds like a very tough competition right there. 11th caller in the uh, West Texas. Is, <laughs> West Texas rock. It's well, Charlie Daniel. She but, fired Pish Rain. You just won. <laughs> Charlie Daniel Band. Again. Uh, hey, now, come Dude. on now, buddy. Hey, buddy. Tell me how action is not on TV forever. Oh, God. That's that such sitcom a was so kick ass. I, 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 I steal it. things from that. I still, there, there's something I say still to this day the two finger Mexican oil change. <laughs> Yeah, Dominican Every face day. hat. <laughs> Dominican face hat. I don't. I gotta write that oh one down. God. That's what she I says right before. Israeli dismount from that, I believe too. She says, uh, <laughs> "Ileana Douglas." That's a nice pull, man. Yeah, uh, Ileana Douglas is trying to get the writer to write, uh, and he, he's got writer's block. And she goes, "If you get it." I'll give you, and she names all these. We we made them up. <laughs> of course you did. Or actually, but Don Rio, the writer the, They're all of that awesome. episode, r- made all these up, and the censor said, you can't say two-figured Mexican oil job. And he goes, <laughs> I made it up. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. There's no vernacular behind Like, if you say, like, rusty trombone, people go, eh. Yeah, like, okay, we, know, yeah, we kind of right. know what that is. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, they're really not that fun. I'll be honest with you. Okay. <laughs> uh, rusty French horn. That's what, that's really what uh, you're uh, two finger Mexican oil changes become part of our show. I mean, it is a it is a slang that we use for oh, for yeah. years. That now. sounds like something I would really like. It's fantastic. It's like a prostate <laughs> exam that's gone horribly well. <laughs> you know, we have pictures that listeners have sent us over the years trying to explain it to their friends. So you see fingers. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There was a time when it became an obsession of our listeners. Dominican face hat. <laughs> that's, that's a new that's one now. And she goes, a Dominican face hat? And he goes, I don't know what that is. And uh, Ileana Douglas goes, I do. And I'm one of only six licensed people that are allowed to give it. <laughs> and she goes, don't worry, I know CPR. Like, she throws that in That, the by the way, made her very sexy, I think, in that particular moment in time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so more Jay Moore stuff. Dude, I'll tell you this. I don't yeah. read very much. Mm-hmm. That's it. No, when you broke your first Saturday Night Live book came out, the first, the book you I think you done two books. I have right? a series. I have, it's like Twilight. I have a series of Saturday Night Live books. Just one though. It's fantastic. <laughs> I couldn't put it down. I thought it was so compelling, dude. God forbid you say the title and give it a. Plug I don't remember the name of it. That's you know some, that I'm, book you wrote that time? <laughs> I don't know. I'm telling Good you. Stuff. I'm not looking at the bio. I'm going off. I'm going off by Jay Moore memories. Dude. Dude. I also know the skit where you go about. see the polar bears and they rip you to pieces. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What, are you what are you talking about? Saturday Night Live. It's one of the greatest sketches of all time. Which I write about in my best-selling book, Gasping for Airtime. Mm. That's it. That's the title. Or you can just type in Jay Moore book in Google. It's amazing <laughs> like when you're on Twitter and you go, hey, I'm going to be at Stand Up Live Thursday, mm. uh, 8 o'clock. It's people can Google and that I'm gonna and find the directions. And I'm going to do a meet and greet. And then someone on Twitter go, where is that? <laughs> and it's like, so you got a Twitter account. You figure out how to reach me. And you know where you know sweep left Google, <laughs> yeah, and and, and I Google put that? at stand up live, so you can just click on the link. Right. Like, wait, well, where is that, JJ? No. Exactly. <laughs> what time is the show? <laughs> I just went on the website, bought my tickets, but where, how do I get there? Are you that highfalutin that so, you don't want those people laughing at your humor? Even more, Jay Moore. I don't care who. One at a time. I don't care <laughs> who comes to my show. Uh, just come. It literally, come to my show and just come okay. over okay. and over again, okay. and I'll give you a Dominican face. So Everybody's going to get pregnant. <laughs> Tracy Morgan got Kyle pregnant with a dog baby. Wow, dude, you That's nailed good. that. He's been in here and That's said that good. exact same phrase. Yeah, I got open toe shoes. I'm old school. I'm Pete Rose. <laughs> All right, so my All right, back to SNL. sketch was a sketch written by Fred Wolf where everybody was at the zoo. every male cast member was in the sketch, and I was like. The guy that nobody knew. And we're all talking. We're at the zoo going like, oh, my God, I bet I could go in and touch that rock in the polar bear cage. Right. Um, and come back before he eats me. It's like, and Norm McDonald's like, oh, are you kidding me, man? You guys are, oh, my God, it's a polar bear, man. <laughs> Tear me to shreds. Hey, oh. So he, started, he sets up the context. <laughs> oh, my God, a polar bear. That's, that's just crazy. Huh? What the age? 
Uh, <laughs> so I think I'm the first one in, and they just I dive over the railing, and they just throw off camera like buckets of blood on the remaining guys, <laughs> and then they all stand there like horrified, and then the next guy goes, he had my wallet. I got, now I got to go in his pants and get my wallet. <laughs> right. And they're like, you can't. You, it's like, well, it's my wallet. How am I getting And then the next guy hops to fence and buckets of blood. And then it's like, what that are the odds? That is a brilliant sketch. And then Norm's like, yeah, I bet that polar bear is full. <laughs> so I bet you actually could go touch the rock and back. <laughs> and they're like, no, nah, all right, yeah. And then they jump. And then him and Farley get in an argument. Like, Farley goes, okay, mister. Uh, uh, no, Farley says, oh, my God. <laughs> that polar bear ripped his head off like so much volleyball. <laughs> and Norm goes, so much volleyball? Who are you, Thor? <laughs> <laughs> and then Farley's response, it's a my Fred Wolf on the sketch. And Farley goes, oh, okay, Mr. Dictionary. <laughs> Oh. And Norm goes, well, how am I mixed your dictionary? Because I said, uh, hey, who are you, Thor? <laughs> and he's like, if you're so great, why don't you go in there in the polar bear? And then so the next guy goes in, and the, uh, there's one person left. And I think it's Sandler or Timmy Meadows just goes, ah, screw it. And he just goes just for the fun of it. And David Duchovny's the last man standing, and he goes, we had no ending for the sketch. <laughs> so the ending became David Duchovny looking at the camera, and it's like one minute to 1 a.m. It's the last sketch going, hi, I'm David Duchovny. This is not a sketch. We're at the zoo, and this actually just happened. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the kind of maniacs that work here at Saturday Night Live credits. And, and then it. the credits rolled. <laughs> oh, wow. Brilliant. Yeah, dude, I love what, in that book when you talk about the, uh, the, the goodbyes. Yeah, uh, and how important it is to be there, and, do, I, and do, if you're not there, do, 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 that mean, part. Yeah, when you go, hey, I want to thank the cast. This has been the best. Even though the show, like, if there's a show that's complete garbage, yeah, you still got to go out there like, oh man, this was the greatest. I want to thank Black Eyed Peas for not playing a single instrument and having all that music come out of the speakers. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank all the sketches for being horrible. <laughs> Want to thank the news for being odd tonight? Do you still watch it as a fan? Yeah, always. No.